Hello, I'm James Hart again. I'm in the Isle of Man outside the head office of PokerStars, the world's largest poker site. Now, every year, the support team at PokerStars receives thousands of emails asking questions about how the site operates. Well, we've decided to create a short series of videos answering some of the most frequently asked questions. Basically, I'm going to put your queries to the people who work here. We thought we'd start by taking an overview of PokerStars and finding out exactly what kind of company it is. I'm going to talk to Eric Holreiser, Head of Corporate Communications. PokerStars started as a startup company and grew very rapidly from just a few employees and a great idea to 1,700 people around the world who are experts in marketing, that are experts in poker, that are experts in technology and in iGaming. And there's always been a, a focus on customer service. And that customer service focus has been rewarded by having very, very loyal customers. We have, at PokerStars alone, over 65 million registered players. So the success of the company is really built on delivering a product and delivering a service that poker players want and love. What do you think sets PokerStars apart from its competitors in the industry? It's that focus on delivering a superior customer service and a fabulous product. That gets, again, rewarded by players who want more of it, who tell their friends, and it's really been a successful word-of-mouth business from the beginning, as well as really smart marketing that made a promise that we could deliver on, and that is the kind of opportunities that players are looking for at all levels of expertise. And since its inception, what new areas has the company expanded into? We've branched out as a sort of function of growth to delivering some of the best live product. Our live events are among the most prestigious in the world. We also are a, a huge provider of poker programming, both online and on television. Obviously, for the majority of PokerStars' existence, the Isle of Man has been its home. Where else in the world does it operate? Well, we're headquartered here in the Isle of Man. It's where our senior executive team is and where our global license sits. We have major offices throughout the world, in London, in Australia, in Costa Rica, throughout Western Europe. And those offices are largely marketing services and customer service support offices. We have a tremendous emphasis on customer support in 29 languages, 24-7. So we can deliver kind of around the clock, follow the sun customer support, comparable to you know, any high service uh, company or industry in the world. Where do you think PokerStars sits? in the wider gaming industry right now? PokerStars has always been a leader in gaming, and, and we've done that by being innovative, by not being afraid of doing what we think is in the best interest of the player, and providing a really compelling player experience. As a result of that, we are, you know, I think recognized as one of the best and one of the biggest gaming companies in the world. And it's a, it's a reputation that we take um, very seriously and, and something that we want to you know, continue to strive to improve upon and to lead the pack in so many ways, in, in, in ways that we've done already in terms of player fund protection and game integrity and security and making sure that players can have confidence playing on our sites. And we'll continue to do that as we grow and as we expand into you know, different games. If you had to look into your crystal ball and try and predict the future, where do you see the future for PokerStars? Oh. It's like seeing the whole cards. I don't think I can do that, but I can tell you that we'll be at the forefront of the industry. We'll be pushing ourselves further. We'll be pushing the industry further and looking to enhance the experience, working with players, working with local governments as we see the move toward increased regulation and making sure that the playing experience, not just on our sites, but throughout the industry is one that players can have confidence in and that um, we know is, is protecting the vulnerable. Eric, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Well, I hope that gave you an insight into the world of PokerStars. Thank you for watching. Well, if you have a question for me to put to the people at PokerStars, please send it over. Do you want to know how PokerStars online festivals are scheduled? Maybe you want to know who designs the chips at live events or how VIP club live nights are put together? Email me at inside at PokerStars.com and I'll do my best to get you an answer.